Hi. Hey guys, welcome to Encounter. Let's enjoy the rest of Encounter. Welcome to Encounter. Hey church, welcome to Encounter tonight. It's lovely to see all your beautiful faces. Hi everyone. Please give me a hug. Wow, welcome to Encounter. Hey church, it's great to have you here with us over the month of May. Hey guys, welcome to Encounter. So great to see you guys here this week. Hey guys, welcome to Encounter. Hey church, welcome to Encounter. Hi everyone, welcome to church. Hey guys, welcome to Encounter. Hello everyone, welcome to Encounter. It's great to see all of you this week. Hi guys, welcome to Encounter. It's awesome seeing all of you here today. Hey CM. Hello Encounter Creative Ministry. What's good fam? Okay, okay, natural, natural, natural. Hey team, what an amazing year we've shared together. It has honestly been such a humbling experience to have served alongside each and every single one of you through our creative endeavors over the past 11 months. I've had the privilege of getting to know many of you more on a personal level, not just as creatives, but more as brothers and sisters in Christ. We may have butted heads a few times. <laughs> oh goodness, Paul of the carpet. Oh! <laughs> Idiot! And as serious as we can be sometimes, there will always be time for a bit of friendly banter. It's awesome seeing all of you here today. I love no! I, I love don't love! love. <laughs> <laughs> In spite of all these shenanigans, I just really wanted to show my gratitude to every single person watching this video right now. Photography team, thank you so much for every click of the shutter for every event you document, and for every single image you edit so carefully. But I really want to encourage you to remember that you're not just snapping moments in time, but you're actually capturing experiences that are meaningful, filled with love, joy, and peace, where heaven touches earth and where people can encounter God. It is often easy to forget these God-anointed experiences, but I believe that our Father has given you the eyes to capture what is not often seen or remembered. So thank you preserving the evidence of His faithfulness forever and ever. There's just something about moving images that is so captivating to the eye. I believe filmmaking isn't just about documenting an event, it has the power to give back hope to the hopeless, to instill encouragement in the discouraged, and ultimately to spread the good news that our faith revolves around. So thank you for all you've done. This team is literally what breathes fresh air into church news every single week. Back in 2015, before we had this amazing group of graphic designers, church news was literally a reoccurring nightmare for me. Having to put out stale recycled content every single week, months on end, really started to rot my soul. And I began forgetting the reason why I first loved serving God with my creativity. But because of this team, we've been able to produce not one, not 10, but 57 amazingly unique graphic slides for the past 11 months. As we have been using these graphic slides to promote events through Facebook and church news, we're now stepping into the realm of Instagram, where we're starting to communicate meaningful, life-giving messages to the people of our community. So graphics team, thank you, thank you, thank you. You girls are amazing. Dear church news editing team, do you realize just how much power you possess? There might be a big picture telling you what needs to be on church news, but how you choose to deliver that message is completely in your control. So I thank you that we haven't crossed the line. Is this where Elijah sacrificed the bull? Fire! Well, maybe I have. Sorry. But in all gratitude, thank you so much for being so willing to learn how to use Sony Vegas in order to edit church news. Having to do this all on my own last year really robbed me of my passion to create. But having the privilege to collaborate with you guys this year really reignited my enthusiasm to create again. So thank you so much. Dear Church News MC, you are the welcoming faces of encounter. The beginning and the end the opener and the closer, the ones who connect the newcomers with the amazing welcome team every single week. And for this, I thank you for all that you do in taking that brave step to stand in front of that really intimidating camera lens. I'll be honest, I have so much more respect for what you MCs have to go through since shooting this video 48 hours ago. Good job. So, why don't we celebrate with some bloopers? Roll it! Let's find out what's happening in the calendar. <laughs> 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, you know why my skin looks so young and beautiful? Let me share my secret with you. Don't tell anyone, okay? Shh. Don't shower. Don't ever shower. Then you have this beautiful skin. Smooth. Ooh. What? <laughs> My name is Rona and... And... <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Encounter. It's great seeing all of you here today. Dude, I don't like how I said today. Today? <laughs> I'm sorry. Now this crew, this crew means the world to me. Completely committed to their calling, Caleb and Jack have stuck by my side month after month as they tirelessly strive for greater and better church news videos with more innovation and more improvement than ever before. They're completely dedicated to making it happen, even if it means waking up at 5 a.m. for a sunrise shoot. You guys are tremendous, and I couldn't imagine doing church news this year without you guys. So thanks. So whether you've been in ECM from the very beginning, or if you've just joined our creative family, I want to say thank you. Not just for the unseen hours of work that you put into creating content that truly matters, but I want to thank you for saying yes. Even though we might not have the capacity, or even the best equipment, or even the experience needed, even when it didn't make sense, you still said yes to begin the work. For in Zechariah 4.10 it says, Do not despise small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. So ECM, I thank you, I love you all, and I'm faithful to believe that greater things have yet to come.